When you type in something inside of your blog post, then you can see that a certain font is applied right here. If you want to go ahead and then change the font, then you can select around uh, that particular text right here that you want to change. And from over here, you can go around onto font type and change it around onto another font type of your choice. For example, you can select Arial and the font gets changed into Arial. You can go around over here and change it out to, let's say, for example, Helvetica and it changes to Helvetica right here. Similarly, you can go around over here and select, let's say, for example, times right here and it changes out accordingly right here. So that is how you can go around and change out the type of font that is applied right here. Apart from that, you can also go around and select out, let's say, a particular text and then change the size of it. You can make it, let's say, for example, largest right here. Maybe you want to go around and make some part of the text small so you can select it and then you can go around and make it smallest right here or small just like this as well. So apart from that, you also have the paragraph option. So you can see that right now this text is set as a paragraph. But what you can do is you can set it as a heading right here just like this and it'll be formatted as a heading. You can go around, add in another text right here and maybe you want to set it as a subheading, then you can do that and then you can say, change that out. And as you click, you can see that you get, uh, get this as a heading and subheading, which makes it easy for information management. Then you got minor heading right here as well that you can set out for, let's say, for example, certain headings over here. You can go around and let's say bold it out and you want to turn this into minor heading, then you can do that. These are paragraph as you can see and let's say for example for some kind of notes you want to add it as a normal text then you can do that as well. If I were to go around and then turn this into let's say for example major heading. So I'm just going to type in main heading. I'm going to go around over here and change this to major heading then you can set it up as that as well. And that is how you can go around and work around with the font type, work around with the paragraphs and headings. Uh, uh, as you like to manage out the text inside of Blogger. Uh, so I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.